Hey everyone, I am SK, aka Master Swag King, coming at you guys today with another video. And if you guys are returning viewers or new viewers, and please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell, that way you can get notified on whenever I upload a brand new video or go live. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Sony's Spider-Man Marvel Universe of villain characters that they've been trying to you know, attempt to make something big since 2018. So in 2018, Sony decided to make a Venom solo movie. And if, if anybody knows anything about comics, Venom is literally directly made because of actions that happened previously before with the symbiote mm -hmm. and Spider-Man. But they yeah. chose to make a Venom movie like that. It came out and made a lot of money. Now, Keep in mind, the reason why Venom could make a lot of money doing that is because Venom is an extremely popular character. A lot of people like Venom. I do too. I really like the character. Love the way the character has been, been portrayed in comics and several other great runs of the character. But, but then Sony went, damn, we made a lot of money doing that baseless random movie that was, I'm honest, that movie's pretty fucking bad. They went in 2021, it was a sequel, Venom Let There Be Carnage, where they casted, um, I think his name was, ah, oh, goodness gracious, he was uh, the villain in Han Solo. There's a guy who played Carnage. I forgot his name. Yeah, Woody Harrels, I like the casting, but the problem here is that movie stunk. That movie was bad, too. So you have two Venom movies, completely bad. Then they didn't want to go hard, or... Morbius came out. That was a steaming pile of shit. The collective internet went and made fun of this thing to the point where... Sony time! Actually, they, they thought Sony actually was like, we'll re-release it, and it flopped again. That might be one of the rarest movies to be re-released twice and flop both times. Actual just craziness. Then... It was also announced at one of the cinema cons that they were going to be coming out with more of these movies. Venom 3, El Morto, which is now canceled, Craven the Hunter, and then you have Madam Web, and then later on they shuffled around the release dates. Madam Web ended up coming out first. That flopped completely. No one went to go see it, and I'm glad for the next thing I'll, for the thing I'll get into in a little bit. Venom 3 and Craven the Hunter have now been delayed until, I think, November, later on this year, and December, right? This is what I don't understand. Okay. For big superhero characters like Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, a lot of these characters, a lot of their villains are intrinsically linked to their superhero persona and their human persona, right? The reason why these can't work is because if you don't have the main character there with them, it doesn't complement very well. I understand, like, in some superhero projects, you know, the villain doesn't get a lot of time to shine. I understand that. But that, that doesn't mean you start making just random shit like this. These movies literally directly contribute to superhero movie fatigue. The reason why people wouldn't want to, want to go watch these. Why would you watch these? These are all fucking bad. All of them are bad. They stink. They're just not written very well. They're basically like Transformer movies now. They just come out. They don't even make a lot of money. They just fucking stink. They're just garbage. And you know what Sony's doing more? More of these are going to come out. We already know Madam Web completely failed. Now we're going to get Venom 3 and Craven the Hunter. We saw the Craven the Hunter. I thought you said Venom 3 was canceled. No, it, 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 no. it just got, got delayed. That's it. Oh, it's just coming got out. delayed. That's it. <laughs> Venom 3 yeah. is coming out, and so is Craven. And if those movies fail, I would hope Sony completely stops doing these. Why do they do them? Only because they can keep, keep the rest of Spider-Man. That's the only reason why. The only reason why. I just don't understand why, why these exist. Because one movie did well, that means we have to justify making seven of these? Seven? Kill me they now. Got to, uh, they got Actually, to keep their me. rights. That's it. <laughs> so, I'll ask um, Hellhound. What, do, what have you thought about these movies in general? Uh, it does seem to keep their to be to keep their rights. Besides that, it w would just be they're trying to keep up a facade of keeping up with the Marvels. Um, and they, I mean, what it's come mm -hmm. out in the past that Sony doesn't like doing, uh, doesn't like super or I forgot what his name is, but he hates superhero movies in general. <laughs> um, so Great. they have no, they Great have no hear. part in this. So. Yeah, I mean, if you have no heart in it, then why do it? Uh, except to keep your rights. Uh, that, in my opinion, that seems to be what it's all about. Um, 
Yeah. But, uh, I was saying, how do these movies not tarnish these actors' careers being a part of them? People make right. – I don't understand. These are jokes to people. People actually make fun of you if you are starring these. I, I know everyone laughs at like Morbius means and all that stuff, but people are making fun of you that you were in a movie that bad. These are like awful. I don't know. About, yeah, Is but, Sydney Sweeney getting any shit? Like I, I think everybody's she's kinda, girl, gray. But they get free no, passes no. for everything. Well, Dakota no. Johnson is too, but she's the, getting a whole bunch of crap for her performance. Is Sydney Sweeney is talking about how shit the movie is. She's saying yeah. it sucks. The, oh, for sure. She, yeah, she admitted she did it for a paycheck. That she had signed on yeah. thinking that it was going to be the MCU. Now that that's probably her agent. Her agent told us it's not the MCU, but the fact that the, there's like Dakota Johnson also mentioned with this with Sony. What they had told her it was going to be completely changed. Morbius was delayed. How many times? Many trailers changed. Spider-Man Red references changed. Just so much. They don't even know. What is this universe supposed to be? It's a universe with Spider-Man's right. villains without Spider-Man, even though most of these villains link to Spider-Man and either from Peter Parker's actions or Spider-Man's actions so that they can all team up and one one movie in a Sinister Six movie and fight a Spider-Man, even though we've seen these guys in their own movies be heroes. They're supposed to be villains. You see how stupid that sounds? That's right. retarded. That's what confuses me too. When I even when I talk and say that is to preserve their rights, it's like mm -hmm. okay, but why, Madam Web? You don't. Who cares about the rights for Madam Web if if there were any rights you were worried about? So what was that actual point of that crap? Mm -hmm. I don't understand it. Oh, but uh, Gray. Oh no, I asked Gray. Darnell. What did you think? You did not ask me, but that's okay. I, I, no, I was kidding. I, was, I like Gray. I was. I thought he was not pick up on it. No, Gray. What do you think about Sony's attempt at making a uh, universe? You know, each film that they're doing kind of gives us something. Uh, yeah. Morbius Diarrhea. gave us so many memes. Um, I just got to say, like, it is so meme worthy. Like, uh, hell, it got a whole re-release because the memes were coming at it so hard. And uh, you know, you'd be hard pressed not to think of that film if you hear Morbin. Uh, but, uh, I, I don't know, man. Uh, and then you, you think of, uh, Madam Webb, it, it gave us Sydney Sweeney. Like, yeah, she was in White Lotus. She was in, uh, Euphoria so or whatever before that. Movies. Yeah, I never yeah, heard of her before yeah, that movie. but people weren't talking about Madam Sweeney's. Uh, okay, but she wasn't on the tip of everyone's tongue, no, so no, to speak. I never heard of her before then. Oh, sorry. I thought you said you heard. My no, no, bad. I never I, heard I, of I heard her. you wrong. I never and heard of her. I think... Madam Web brought us that, and uh, supposedly she just did it so that she could make her movie immaculate, um, and so that she could produce it. So that's kind of awesome. Enough. Like, uh, you know, it's given us a couple of good things. That being said, I can't think of what Venom has given us, and I don't know who's like asking for a Craven movie, but uh, you know, uh, maybe it'll give us something. We I got was not asking for a Craven Sweeney. movie, but I'm happy no anytime one... Aaron Taylor Johnson wants to take his clothes off. So. I get you. I get you. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe we can use those lovely costumes that we only got to see for a second. And uh, in Craven, uh, maybe Spider Man can't be there, but who's to say that one of those Spider Girls can't be there? Yeah. The Lord. You're too nice. It could be titillating. <laughs> you are. He, Gray's the guy that's like, you know what? I, I do see good in this. And I, I'm, I'm the guy sometimes too. I do. I try to see the good in stuff. Gray, these are. There's what good, in fact, those are all possibilities these could happen. What do you think is actually going to happen based off what we've seen the movies actually give us? Based off what I've seen Russell in their Crow. track record, it's going to be trash. But <laughs> I'm hoping oh, that it will shit. give us something. Uh, I'm just saying, like, so you're right. I was being a bit optimistic. I didn't want to just no, come like out it. and trash Madam Re Webb. I thought, you know, uh, essentially, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's... That whole horror trope meets superhero, it could be really cool. Final Destination meets superheroes. Wow. Like, that could be a badass movie. What we got was not that. Um, it really sucked. So, I don't know. I don't have any faith that it's going to be good. But, hey, you know, maybe there's going to be a million uh, memes of, uh, you know, Taylor Johnson or whatever. We, we need more product placement. Oh, yeah, so the Pepsi. More, more, They're uh, all over this yes. one. <laughs> yes, I know nothing right. of Pepsi. Darnell, what have you thought about these Sony Marvel attempts at a move, attempt at a universe, dog shit, whatever this is? <laughs> I don't even I try, know what to call anymore. I try not to. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> it's probably yeah, the best idea. <laughs> I it, 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 think it's it's like if they had tried making MCU 
and have every movie. Captain America is about uh, Bucky and him getting into the military. Iron Man is about Happy and his having to get Tony Burgers. It, that's what these movies are. You're taking characters and and not connecting them to the one thing, like Tony said, that brings them all together. You can have Spider-Man in these movies. If you want, just get Holland to freaking voice, do some voice work for a couple of, for a couple minutes, have Spider-Man in the suit in the movie, have the connection. That's all you got to do. Venom, if they hadn't done it as an origin movie, I think more people would be into Venom. Because you could always say, like in Venom 3, do like a 10-minute origin where he's with Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. You know? It just, it's the, the guy running Sony. He hates superhero movies. That's it. It's, he just, he wants them to, he's like, he's approving the dumbest shit just to get it out there. Yeah, he's actively tarnishing superhero movie brand. I think like he's doing it on purpose. If and people are already turn... complaining about superhero it's movie fatigue. Was, it, it's hard to believe anyone could be this bad not on purpose. Yes. That's true. I know, right? All right, hold on. What did you want to say? Oh, no. Uh, I, it's weird, too, that they're trying to make Venom into a... I mean, hero. almost a hero at this point, not even an anti-hero. Right, right. It, I mean, people are already really hard on superhero movies now. These come out in niches. Yeah, so it's kind of like nail in the coffin when these scenes come out. It's like, it, it should, why would you support these? Ask yourself, even if you wanted to, like, have hope that superhero movies could come back to what they were before, this that sure doesn't give you confidence that that is going to happen. Why would you ever go watch these? Th- these are movies you play when you will have a date night with your significant other, and then she just pulls down your pants and starts fucking going at you because that's more entertaining than watching this dog shit. These are literally like Netflix and chill movies here. These ain't like actual movies yeah. they give a fuck about. It's like, why would you pay to watch these? Matt on Web should be the clear nail in the coffin that nobody wants these. Okay? Well, I mean, Morbius should have did that. But hey. I, I'm glad the superhero female one did it because that goes into my narrative more. Good. I really, th- I really think this guy's putting these movies out just to because, like, okay, we got ten contracted movies. <laughs> approve the approve the shittiest things and just get them out. <laughs> That's what I really think this guy's doing. Put some okay. Eminem songs in there. Everybody oh, loves sorry. Eminem nowadays. Okay, yeah. get the fuck out of here. He, well, I, I, that's sad though because Eminem oh, did try. Like- and Eminem did try on that Venom music video. He tried, but even that's not enough to sell the movie, honestly. Wait, there was a music. Oh, there's a music video. He did the, the Venom song. Yeah, did a rap single. Venom. 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 I don't, remember. Venom, Venom, I don't Venom, remember the movie. Venom. God. Yeah. Uh, okay. Tiny. I just, what do you think about you know Sony's garbage villain Marvel universe? <laughs> well, I hadn't thought about it till Darnell said it, but I think he's right. I think someone at Sony is really trying to kill all this shit off. I think they don't like superheroes and or they don't like Spider Man, and they're just trying to ruin it. Because it's really hard to believe that you could be doing what they're doing and not purposely trying to destroy it. I to know be that fair, though, Disney's doing the same pr- thing. You shouldn't give to uh, evil what you can explain with stupidity. But at this point, I think we're going past stupidity. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Invader, it says, you know how hard it is to create a slate of films this consistent? Unfortunately, a few movies like Into the Spider-Verse disrupted the consistency a bit, but they didn't let lo- let those movies keep them down, and they got back to their ways with Madam <laughs> Web. Yeah, yeah, like, this is the problem with them in general. It's like, because th- you have the Into the Spider-Verse movies of Miles Morales, which I really, really enjoy. I think both movies are great. I like the first one and the second one a lot. And you then, then you have this. That you have this and this, and you're like, I don't even understand what level of a company this is anymore. They can give someone something so good in one area, but then they give you something so trash in this area. Not even that. This company has been spreading Spider-Man's ass cheeks so thin, right? There's going to be a Spider-Man noir series with Nicolas Cage. There's going to be a Silk series. We have the Tom Holland movies with the MCU. You have the Into the Spider-Verse movies that exist with that trilogy. Then you have these movies. That is a lot of Spider-Man stuff. Just saying. So this is just, in my opinion, only ruining Spider-Man and the, I would say the superhero brand in general. That's the biggest letdown to this stuff is like the superhero movie brand just gets tanked because of how bad these are. These are just fucking awful. Like watch these, maybe make them like I actually get a fucking rope in that shit. Good Lord. Can't wait for Morbius versus Blade. Morbin time part two. <laughs> Okay. That would almost be funny. <laughs> Invader and Pronson are killing me with their comments. Yeah. <laughs> killing me with their comments. 
Okay. Well, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you are a returning viewer or new viewer, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Hit the notification bell. That way you guys can get notified on whenever I upload a brand new video or go live. And we will see you guys later. Peace.